Setting up the Mosquito MQTT broker is pretty easy. In this video, I'll show you how to set up a broker in under five minutes. And the crosstalk on the bottom lane looks pretty bad mm, this morning, yum. so you may have to take an alternate route. Next up on Nickmake FM is... Once you have Raspbian running on your Pi, make sure you update your Debian package lists and upgrade. This will ensure you have the latest of everything. If you haven't done this before, it may take a while to complete. There's three packages that we want to install. The Mosquito MQTT broker, Mosquito clients, and also the Mosquito Python bindings. The Mosquito packages will give us four binaries. A Mosquito broker daemon, a password generation tool, a publishing client, and also a subscribe client. There's also several important configuration files. The Mosquito broker config file, and directory where you can place additional config files, SSL certificate directories, system startup config file and executable, and log rotate configuration. The default Mosquito config file really doesn't need to be changed. The persistence database will be located here, and log file here. If you want to add additional config options, then place them in the config directory. Then there's the SSL certificate authority files here, and SSL certificates here. You will want to set up your MQTT broker as the defaults won't give you much. There are three more important files that you can take from the examples directory. The access control list file, which contains who can access what topics, the private and public shared key file for providing an SSL layer over the MQTT protocol, and the password file, which of course contains usernames and passwords. The first step is to create a username and password combination. You can do this with the Mosquito password tool. In this case, I created a user called Letterbox. Next, we need to create the ACL file using your favorite editor. Here, you can add users that are allowed to read and write to topics, and also topics that can be subscribed to. Without these basic sets of lines, you won't be able to do much. Once you have those files created, then change the ownership to the Mosquito user and also the permissions. Next, I'll create a config file under the config directory and add the password and ACL file. Then restart Mosquito service either using the etc init script or using systemd. You should see the Mosquito daemon writing to syslog as well as its own log file. Then fire up two shells. In the first one you can subscribe to all topics under this main topic. Using the username letterbox with password letterbox these other options are just making the output verbose. In the second window, you can publish a message under the home letterbox state topic with string full, using the same credentials as before. You should see the subscribe window respond with what was just published. Or you can publish another topic to home letterbox temperature with value 39. It really is that easy. Of course, a Pi Zero W makes a really excellent MQTT broker. It's small, cheap, and low power. In a follow-up video, I'll show you how to secure your MQTT broker using SSL. You can also check out my other videos on MQTT, such as What is MQTT? and also a letterbox that uses MQTT to send alerts to your mobile. Thanks for watching, and see you next week. And that's it for another episode. Don't forget to check out my website for further details, and thanks for watching.